This is Mr. Van Kaplan. Uh, today we're going to do lesson two on Autodesk Inventor. We're going to learn some new 2D sketching tools. We're going to look at the polygon, the spline tool, and also make an arc. So you want to go to new. We will stay in English, standard IN, and after the first time you've logged on and saved, usually this is the, the default, and it's going to be on this when you open a new file. Just hit create. And it's going to load and it'll bring up our sketching grid. On lesson one, we looked at lines, circles, and rectangles, and we made some polygons, triangles, and parallelograms. Today, we're going to learn how to use the spline tool, the arc tool, and then there's a, a button that allows you to make polygons. So hit Start 2D Sketch. Choose the XY plane. As you can see, you hover over all of them. Make sure you're in the XY plane. And now we're ready to sketch. Okay. You don't see the spline tool right now, okay, on Inventor 2015. So click the down arrow underneath the line, change it to spline control vertex. Okay. And this tr this tool is uh you know, it's kind of tricky. You gotta click, drag out, then you bring it down and it gives you the curve, then you click and drag out. Again, you have to click a lot of times, is one thing I've noticed, to make a curved shape. Okay? And yours isn't going to be perfect, just like mine. That's okay. Just, I just want you to practice using it a little bit. So now I want to end that and bring it back up. I had to click, and then double click, and you're done with that. And then right click, okay. So that's the spline tool. I don't know why those pictures are staying there, but that's okay. The spline tool. Let's go back to line. Okay, now I want to show you how to do the arc tool. There's several different ones to choose from. I want you to do the three point arc. Okay, so we're going to stay in this quadrant. Click once, go to the left. Make sure you keep it straight. You can see it starts telling you the degrees if you're not straight. Okay, click here and then you bring it up, bring it down. Now you can make it go like a U or like an N. Let's keep it like an N for now. Right click, hit OK. Well, let's see if it'll let us dimension this. OK. And you can see it's going from an origin. Let's make that three inches and see what happens. OK. Not too bad. OK. And to, to get that back, I was hit front. Okay, so there's an arc. Get my hand tool and move around a little bit. Okay, so we've got an arc and a spline. We've done the circle. Underneath the rectangle you can see a lot of different shapes. Okay, let's choose polygon and the first thing it does, and you can move this around, get it to where you can see where you're going to draw. It comes up as a six-sided. These are going to be regular polygons. When we dimension, I'll show you that. Let's make a pentagon. So hit five. Don't hit done. Okay. So get down this quadrant, click, and you can see that shape start to form. And we can rotate it. Okay. So I'm going to make a pentagon, and all these lines pop up. That's okay. Just right, go up here, hit done. They go away. So I have a pentagon, but I don't know the side length. So dimension that to 2.5 inches and watch what all the sides do. It's a regular polygon so all sides are the same. If we drew this with random lines that wouldn't happen. Okay that's the good thing about the polygon tool. So we've got a pentagon, an arc, a spline. Let's make an octagon. Okay so I changed my sides to 8. I'm going to draw it over here. Okay I hit done. Let's dimension this to three inches. Okay, looks pretty good. So I don't want to do that. Now that I'm done, right click and hit OK. And you should have your pointer. Okay, so we've used a polygon tool a couple of times. We've also made a spline and an arc. Another tool you can do, there's a circle. But one that looks more like an oval, you can change it to an ellipse. 
Okay, so let's go up here and do that. And you can just see it's more like an oval. Okay, and I made that too big. So you can change the size of it. I don't like it over the spline tool. I'll see if I can move the spline tool. And you highlight the spline tool, you can spline drawing, you can move it to the left. So now you've got an ellipse. Okay. And we've got multiple polygons as well. While we're doing this, I'll show you how to add text. Might as well with a stop sign. Okay, you can add text in this, and when we do 3D drawings later, you're going to put some text in there and learn how to engrave it or make it stick up. So I'm going to show you how to use a text tool. Just hit text and highlight inside of here. Okay, make a little text box, and it's going to bring this up. Now here's where you have to be careful. Okay. Our octagon is three inches. Okay. So I'm going to type, we know a stop sign is an octagon, so I'm going to type stop in all caps. Now I want to highlight that. 1.20 inches is way too small. Okay, and you can look, the sizes they have aren't very big. So while you have to highlight your text, make sure you double check that. And I'm going to make it 0 0.5 inches, so like a half inch big. I'm also going to bold it. You can see it got bigger, and I'm even going to change the color, okay? And you can choose any color. You don't have to pick the one I did. I tried to get one that was close to red, but if you want to do green or yellow, that's fine. I'll go with green. Hit OK. Now my words are green. Uh, up here, you can change your font. Again, you have to highlight it. Uh, I could center it, if you look here, just like in Microsoft Word. The key thing when you start changing colors and size, that if the text isn't highlighted, none of it happens. It won't apply it to it. Okay, and they've got a lot of fonts in here. Uh, while you've got some time in this lesson, you can practice looking at different fonts. I'm okay with that. Let's go with uh, Gil Sands Ultra Bold. Looks kind of weird, but that's okay. And I hit OK, hit Stop. Uh, and you can see I'm still on the text tool. I don't want that. I right click, hit OK. And that's done. That text still isn't very big, so I'm going to double click it, highlight it. I'm going to make it one inch. Hit OK. You see how it got bigger? Okay. Then I'm I'm done with that. Okay. Um, the spline tool. Practice with that. It takes a little bit of practice to make some different curves. The ellipse you could use if you're going to make like an oval shape like a keychain and then the arc tool comes in pretty handy when we start doing 3D drawings and polygon tool as well you can do lots of different things with that when we learn how to do extrusions and things like that it's going to really benefit you to use the polygon okay um, this is it for lesson two make sure you recreate it just like I have and add those dimensions you've got a three inch on the arc two and a half on the pentagon three inches on the octagon put stop in there and um, you can choose the, your font style and the color of your text the spline tool just practice with that you can't make it look exactly like this okay I just want to see you have several curves in it and um, on lesson three we're going to look at the trim tool and the mirror line to do like a reflection of a shape Okay, so this is lesson two. Uh, take your time with it. If When you get done with it, make sure you raise your hand. I'll come over and I'll check it off and make sure that you've done it. We do want to file save as. It'll say we can't save in sketch mode. Just hit OK. Okay, choose your folder. You should have met, you're going to make a folder. I'm going to do the screencast robot C files. Nope, wrong one. Inventor for Screencast-O-Matic, okay, and this is Mr. V Lesson 2. I want you to save it as that same thing, Mr. V Lesson 2. Hit save, and we're done. It took us out of sketch mode, and that's it for this video. We'll do Lesson 3 soon, okay.